progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hi guys and welcome to the Bull Action Locked and Loaded show. I am John of course and I am joined by Rich. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the fog of war. Because war is confusing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that happens in war. Mm -hmm. Look how confusing all this is. Yes. How do we make sense of this? Well, if you're new to Bull Action and you've got the rule book in your hand. Yep. And you have some models but you're not too sure where you need to go. Yes. Where do we go to re remove the fog of war? That's where I was going with this. Yes, yeah, let's, let's get some clarification. Yeah. Yep. Obviously, rulebook in hand, as, as it is here. Mm -hmm. um, where do we go next? Well, the Bolt Action rulebook obviously contains a, uh, a short form of uh, army lists for uh, the, the, the big four, as it were. So yep. the Americans, the British, the Soviets, and the Germans. Mm -hmm. Also, Bolt Action 2nd Edition now has the Japanese in there as well. Mm -hmm. So we've thrown that in for you. Um, but I say those are sort of short forms of the army list. So where do you go next? Well, there are a, a wealth of books of bolt action. We've got just a few here, and it's yep. still weighing down the table considerably. There's at least, <laughs> what, eight or nine there as well? Yep. And there are more on top of that. So where do you go next? What are they all? Well, let's break it down to a few sections. So the easiest way, the next step on from the rule book is once you've decided which nation you're playing, is mm -hmm. to buy the army, the army book, which is the armies of books. So armies yep. of the United States, armies of the Soviet Union, Germany, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Um, those books are, as we'll start here with the Soviet one, yep. the, the, the army book for the army, so it's uh, the full army list, so it's the expanded army list from the core rule book. Yep. So this contains the vast majority of units for the Soviets. So it starts off with a bit of history, so you get a bit of context on why the army are fighting, a bit of the nature of the force, that kind of thing. Yep. You've got obviously the specific uh, special rules for that force, so each nation uh, has its own special rules which give it its flavour in the game. Mm -hmm. um, you've got obviously wonderful colour photos from the Wall of the Studio team, you've got artwork from Peter Dennis. Yep. Um, we obviously created these in uh, collaboration with Osprey Publishing. Yep. So layout and everything is, is fantastic as you expect. You've got extra characters in there for the army. Um, everything you need. So obviously you've got expanded army lists, so you've yep. got uh, different levels of commander, medics, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You've got all the different types of infantry squads, and again, each different uh, nation has specific infantry squads, depending on what they used in the war, yep. and obviously different equipment. You've got all your anti-tank options, you've got all your different tanks, everyone loves tanks, mm -hmm. uh, self-propelled guns, all that kind of thing. So it's the full army list, including things at the back like here, like different theatre selectors, which are a variant of the standard reinforced platoon, which give it a bit more flavour. So if you want to fight out, as everyone does, yep. the Battle of Stalingrad, you go mm -hmm. to the back of the Soviet Union book, there's a specific army list in there which tells you... Uh, What's available and... Yeah, yeah, which units you can take which will make it more historically accurate for that battle. Mm -hmm. And similarly in the back of the German book, it will then have sort of the German version of that as well. Yeah. So there is plenty to work on here, but the, the most important thing is to not get confused. Yes. And to not feel overwhelmed, because yeah, there's a lot of books. Yeah. There's only maybe you know, your core rule book and your armies of book that are going to be the most important That's to you. That's your staple, yes. Yeah. So there's plenty of these. Uh, uh, there are seven course. armies of books now, I believe. Yep. Um, so we, what we have here is the Soviet. We have the Italy and the Axis. That's the smaller Axis powers, isn't it? Yes, so yeah, absolutely. I bring that under as well. So that is... Obviously Italy, but there's other forces in here as well, I believe, isn't it there? covers six or seven, yeah, the, the sort of minor powers we call yeah, them. Yeah, so you have Finland in here, Bulgaria, uh, let me see, Hungary, Romania. So yeah, the, the smaller, what what we eventually became some of the smaller Soviet states at the end of the yes, war. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And again, each one has its own uh, national rules to give it its own flavour yeah. and specific units that they used. Mm -hmm. So we also have the United States. Yeah. The best, of course. <laughs> we have my favourite, the Great British. Uh, we have. Then we're moving on to another section. So we, we are, have yes. The armies of books, which are your staple, your, 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 core. your staple, your essential core books. Yeah, yeah. So after that, now we've you've gotten comfortable with it. You've got an army built. Yep. You're starting to play some games with your friends at your local gaming club, but they now are starting. Your your group is maybe getting a bit bigger, and they start to talk about campaigns and they start to talk about larger gaming weekends and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but you need theatres for that. You need a, a setting, like a narrative for it. Yeah, you, you want to add narrative, you want to add a theme to your, your lists. Mm -hmm. We've then done that uh, firstly. 
uh, with these, which the next step is the theatre books. So yep. the theatre books are where we've done the Armies of books and we now want to add a bit more context, mm -hmm. narrative to your games. So here these come. So yep. the theatre books, again, uh, a massive historical text in there, gorgeous artwork, piece Dennis yep. and Osprey. Um, you've got more of the theatre selectors. So again, obviously Germany strikes, this is the early war, the Blitzkrieg period, mm -hmm. Germany uh, dashing across Europe. So yeah, a lot of the early war forces um, yep, there's lists to create specific armoured train forces yeah. and other bits and pieces, scenarios. sorry I had to mention that. You, you get little scenarios and you get what is really useful for the, the budding painters as well. You get these brilliant uh, publications, these brilliant pieces of artwork from Osprey as yes. well that really show off how the uniforms look and you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly. So these focus in a bit more and yep. uh, if, if you don't know the AWOL period, this is the, the book to get. Mm -hmm. If you want to fight out those battles of uh, Germany plowing across Europe, this is the book to get. Um, yeah, it focuses down, it gives you more specific information and, you know, specific units as well. So yeah. the German army book has a lot of Blitzkrieg forces, mm -hmm. but we thought, why not expand upon that as well? So there are extra options in here, extra units, extra characters again, specific to the period, and that kind of thing. Yeah. So this is tying down your army list, or this is adding a flavour to your army list, which will make it more compatible with a certain period of time. Exactly, and obviously you haven't got to, you know, you build your army, you haven't got to stick to one of these, it's yeah. just a way of using a different combination of units to mm -hmm. create a more historically themed army. Yeah, and these will still tie in with your armies of books as well, because yep, exactly. they, the armies of books have points costs for the generic sort of, in early war for example, they do have early war listings, but this goes into more detail with yes, it tells more you exactly. detail, more options. Again, more characters as well. So the characters add a bit more flavor again. Yeah. So it's a, it's adding that that narrative, that flavor to the army, and just mm -hmm. more options. So for the for the uh, theaters, so we have Germany strikes. We have Jewel in the Sun, which is all our desert campaign. Yeah. So that's your Africa core, your Eighth Army, British Eighth desert Army. Rats. Yep. Um, do the Americans come into this one at all, or is uh, this... I believe they're touched upon, but I say it is, it's mainly the whole you know um, Rommel Monty yeah. really. And again, into Italy as well, so Monte Cassino and that kind of thing. Yeah, so you do get a lot of information in here. You get historical information as well as how it affects your game. And again, there's also things like environmental effects. So obviously in the desert, you've got sand that affects you in different ways. So you've got yep. things like quicksand in there. You've got things like night fighting as well. So again, it's not just adding to army list. It's also adding uh, different environmental effects as well. Yeah, the most important page in this, uh, which is the, the Jewel and Sun one, is definitely this, which is the, the Code of the Desert. Yes. Yeah. Everybody has to read that. I'm not going to read it now, but everybody has to read it because it is a fascinating insight into a few things. Again, just full of fantastic pieces of artwork, as well as the, the miniatures themselves on the tables, which yeah. is always a, an excellent way to go. Yeah, exactly. Then we're on to Ostfront. A, a bit of a favourite, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a favourite of yours. So this is mostly our Soviets in a particular period as well as Barbarossa to Berlin. So this is covering the Eastern Front in more Exactly, detail. yeah. So covering iconic battles, things like obviously Kursk, a yeah. huge favourites, uh, Stalingrad, and uh, yeah, all the action on the Eastern Front. So it's not just Soviet and Germany though, there are other nations in there as well. Yeah. So yeah, I say on the Waller website, obviously we've got descriptions of all of these. So if you're looking for something specific, have a look. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's an absolute heap of uh, information, historical and game-wise as well. Yeah. And that's the nice thing, I think, you, you guys have done really well with Osprey because they were always one of the, the finest, um, the finest sort of break-in historical book I find. There's plenty of information, but they had a lot of good artwork, a lot of good images. Yeah, and it's and all very, very um, what's the word, approachable and very, yeah. you know, there's no, it's not a steep learning curve, they uh, sort of ease you in very well. Yeah. So we now have our theatres covered. The theatre book, again, theatre books, there are I'll be five or six now, so we're covering yeah. everything from, again, the, the series of theatre books is now considered complete. So it covers um, everything from the Pacific Empires in Flames book mm -hmm. through to Early War, through to Eastern Front. Um, so we've covered all the theatre books. So that, again, that collection is now complete. Yeah. And we have our armies of, so you have your core, you have your flavour flavor. text. Yeah, you yep. have your flavour. Um, after that, you've had a lot more games, you're feeling really confident with it, you're enjoying the game a lot. You've built your collection a bit more, you've you, got additional units, you've got a few tanks going spare. Yeah. And what are we going to do with those? Everyone loves tanks. Uh, yes. We at World adore tanks. Uh, we have an absolutely huge range of World War II vehicles that just boggles the mind. Yeah. So obviously we had to do a tank game. We couldn't yep. not do a tank game. <laughs> Everyone loves tanks. Uh, so, Tank War. Tank War. We have Tank War and this is what yeah. we would call a supplement book, yeah? Yes, yeah. It's an additional supplement book. Mm -hmm. um, it's a way of 
adding more armor to your forces. So obviously in bolt action, you've got the standard reinforced platoon or the theater lists. Mm -hmm. Typically, um, you are allowed one armored vehicle or one tank per reinforced platoon. Yep. Uh, obviously, you can take multiple platoons to get more, but people want to play tanks on the battlefield. Yep. So tank war allows you to take a pure tank force if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, also, things like armored car lists of just armored car formations, of scouting formations, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, tanks plus motorized infantry. Yep. So this is for all those trad heads out there that just love even just collecting the tanks. Yes, yeah, This absolutely. is a way to get using those, get using that collection. And numbers wise, it scales from having a handful of tanks, two or three, I believe, right mm -hmm. up to as many tanks as you can possibly get your hands on. So we've had tank battles of, you know, hundreds of vehicles. Um, <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty crazy. But again, tank war, because you have uh, less units on the board, you obviously each unit is one tank, which has typically one or two weapons, as opposed to a squad, yep. which has 10, 12 weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, the game goes a bit faster, um, and it's just fast and just furious. It's great. Yeah, and we have been looking at a few other bits and pieces in the, the games to do with tanks. And yes. stuff like that. Yeah, you'll, yeah. you'll see all those, and they'll be about to get checking those out. So that is essentially the, the three types of book that we've got. So apart from the main rule book, you have your armies of, which yep. is your core. Yep. You have your theater book, which is your flavor. Yep. And then you have the supplement, which at the minute is... The cherry on the cake. Yeah. So you have that nice big cherry up there, that yep. big armored cherry. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously don't be scared of the books. That's, that's the important thing, because you see a lot of people saying, oh, there's too many books, I don't know where to start. Yep. So just you have your main rule book and your armies of book, that's enough. Yeah, dive Even, into the rulebook. The, the core yeah. rulebook itself is, is absolutely packed. So mm -hmm. the core rulebook is where you start, then your armies of book. Um, yeah. And obviously you haven't got to get all the armies of books. You haven't got to get and know all of your enemy's units. That's the beauty of bolt action is playing different people. Mm -hmm. You then learn how, if I play Americans, I learn how a Soviet army works by playing X, Y, and Z different Soviet yeah. players. So get your own armies of book and then expand from there, really. Yeah, we, we have a, a very good Soviet player in the community, um, Commissar Boris, if I remember right. That's your, his name right there. Uh, he would occasionally come into the gaming group and he has an immense Soviet collection. Yep. It is utterly immense. But he keeps refusing to throw out his really good squads at us because they all have PPSHs. Yes. Yeah. Or conscripts with PPSHs. Yeah. And he refuses to play that in here because he thinks we'll kick him out. Yeah. And he's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, don't worry about it. If you're just new into the game, just settle down, relax, and just enjoy the hobby and enjoy the reading of it because you'll learn heck of a lot of yes. the books and you'll get to enjoy a game that uh, we've been absolutely loving the yeah. past while so thanks very much guys for watching uh if you're a backstager come on over to backstage we'll be talking a little bit more about a few other things yeah what might be coming next perhaps yep so get your comments down below let us know what you think of the books if you're new to bolt action or if you're coming into it or you're interested in it has this video helped we'd certainly like to know about that too so guys thanks very much we'll see you in the next one If I could tell you more, I would, but I'm, uh, you know, at risk of being shot. There's a pay grade above you, Rich, that yeah. uh, keeps telling you, you know, be careful. Yeah. But yeah, there's plenty on the way. There's plenty coming. Conflict 47, of course, I had a couple of little demo games that fantastic. Yeah. I, just, I hate saying that because I'm just so against Weird War and Lloyd loves it, the fact that I'm squirming. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com.